Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the uh, typography element, um, how to use it, how to apply it of the sailing options panel. So one thing that you have to, uh, well there, there's a couple things you have to remember. One, there are many different, um, uh, this one is loaded from the theme. If it wasn't loaded from the theme or from the, from the demo import, it wouldn't have these. Which would be fine, but you would have to, re but you have to replace each one with whichever uh, typography that you usually use. So, and in each of these elements, I don't really ever mess with the custom response settings. I usually just let Salient handle that. Um, if there's a problem, then I can just fix it on the. It's usually on the mobile, uh, or you can use a custom heading or something like that. Um, a couple issues that you may run into is, let's say that you are, uh, developing a page, uh, let's say, you know, right here. And, um, if you use custom heading in one of the, uh, if you use custom heading in any of the places, you need to make sure that you're checking, uh, the theme the uh, default just making sure that you you uh, let's see if this uses custom you know basically if you just use the custom heading tool which is used a lot in salience um, in salience uh, import demos you just have to click the theme font family and just make sure and then it'll inherit whatever you put in these options the other thing is that you need to make sure to click on like the new let's just say this is Montessera you have to click on that uh, change bold change you can change a font or whatever um, this is for the logo let me do it for the h1 tag then you have to you know do it for all h2 h3 uh, all the body font as well. I'm gonna change this to just so you can see it. Times New Roman, or let me see. Uh, yeah, Garamond, and then we'll just change this one to just so you can see differences. Save that, and then I'm gonna delete that, uh, or just get back out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So the way you check it, inspect, and there it is, Montserrat. Now, the other thing that you want to troubleshoot is that if you're not seeing it correctly, you may need, you, and you can see the text was changed too, uh, along with that. If, if you're not seeing a change, then you need to either clear your cache, purge your cache, depending if you're using like a CDN, Cloudflare, or any of that. Really, really, or you know, do your browser cache, do your uh, WP Rocket if you have a plugin that caches your site. Make sure to either deactivate those and recache and everything, and make sure that everything is working properly. Um, and then you, if it's if that's not working, then you have something blocking uh, the element here from actually taking over, and something is overwriting it. So you need to you need to find that and eliminate it uh, within these panels. So if you see something like this, if if this was str uh, striked out, then something is overwriting it. Um, and sometimes whenever I use, whenever I would click this on, um, it would act a little janky. So uh, not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, and then a lot of times it was either the custom heading wasn't working, wasn't clicking over. Um, if that's the case, then I would use split line heading like he does here to replace it in case custom heading isn't actually, you know, uh, accepting the default uh, family or just using simple text. So I hope that helps.